like I said, the big thing everybody, of course, wants to know is how are you feeling? Feel good to finally get back out here today? Yeah, um, more feeling blessed, you know, able to start, and I want to say this was a good first day, so, you know, just one of those things, so, on the process. Marcus, how do you feel where you're at right now, your conditioning? Uh, could you play a game right now, if it, let's say, if it was a regular season like this weekend, or a couple of weeks? Mm, I don't really know. I feel like uh, I still have more to kind of push through, and that be have to be something like when I get there, I'd be able to tell you. Um, really, just the body acclimation. I'd have to say all these guys have been able to, you know, do whole off season, work out in this heat, and kind of do all our drills and go through it all. So you know, just kind of get my body acclimated back. Um, but sure, you know it's an ongoing process, so we'll see. Hey Marcus, does, does the finger impact anything with your pass rush? Or does it feel pretty normal? Is, is there an adjustment there? Like how, how, does, how does that kind of affect you? Mm. You know, I guess with anything is uh, sort of an adjustment, but honestly, I don't really think about it. Shoot, probably the main time I think about it is, you know, uh, when I'm lifting weights, so not too bad. So feel, feel, I mean, I know it's but everything feels pretty normal. Just, you know, hit things and not like, you know, yeah. yeah. How was the whole process for that this summer? Like, after you got the surgery, did everything go smoothly? Do you have to have another surgery after that, or has it kind of been, like, smooth sailing since OCAs, I guess? Uh, yeah, it's really been smooth sailings. You know, since we talked, I'd say the only process or adjustments was, you know, seeing that some of you guys took pictures and put it out there. You know, beyond that, I was pretty cool. Was that like weird for you to see that? I mean, I guess you mentioned it specifically. Mm, I think it'd be like anything. You know, it was still relatively personal. And then, yeah. they, you know, when you see it online and people, hey, look at this. You know, you start to think a little bit. But yeah, I guess that's where I'm at right now. So it didn't stick out of your little. Yeah. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't put any of those out, but I'm sorry that it bothered you. That's cool. Um, have you, uh, I remember you were talking about reading Marcus Aurelius. We got further through that. How's that, your, what's your impression of him now? Um. My impression of Marcus Aurelius. I think he was uh, one of the true philosopher kings. You know, one of those people that had all this power and all this, how would I say, control and didn't really let it go to him. He tried to be just in, in a way that was really serving the people. Not many leaders out there like him. So, just one of the good ones. I, I have my meditations. You recommend it? Like oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd just get out there and read, man. Whatever you want. So uh, when you're lifting weights, how does it, I guess you, you just you used to grip it a certain way and now you have to grip it differently for certain, what is it like with free weights more? Or? Not really, it's just, uh, how would I say, it, it doesn't really impact anything, it's just something I notice. You know, at this point, you know, putting my hand on the ground, you notice things. Like it feels normal, but there's always gonna be something missing. Marcus, have you talked uh, to Jason Pierre Paul, maybe his experience is just because I don't know, just maybe you feel like I can relate to you. I know where you're coming from. But. Mm, not exactly. I, I can't say, you know, I haven't talked to him, but then again, you know, um, relating would kind of still be hard. I say, in any form of the sense, it's hard to really grasp with someone's, you know, what happened to them and how they're adjusting. But, uh, yeah, there's not much for that I can say on that. Mm, <laughs> health. Uh, you know, just trying to be able to stay on the field. Mm, I don't know. Focuses have been able to kind of slim down because at this point I just want to be healthy. And, you know, from there I can play.
Marcus, with all your experience now, do you feel like you can beat every offensive tackle in the National Football League? And the body of work you put out there, you know, with the power and your speed? I don't really think about it like that, you know. I just have to have the belief anyway. So, yeah, anybody that comes, I got to win. It don't really matter what happened last year. Marcus, I apologize. Sorry, guys. Are you, all your other injuries, you've had plenty of time to recover from those. Was so that all, like, done before you started training camp? I mean, you're fully healthy with shoulders. Mm, I guess. You know, at this point, at this point, I'm really just in the process of getting back and getting acclimated, you know, seeing whatever comes up from actually playing some football and, you know, um, starting to, you know, figure that out. And how optimistic are you that this is, this timetable is good, that you'll feel as good as you want to feel before the season starts? Man, look, all right, I got a plan, and uh, I guess I'm excited. You know, uh, we got a great, you know, um, training staff and we got the coaches behind. So, you know, I think uh, it's all coming together. Do you feel like you were playing your best football yet in your career last season? Or, you know, or not necessarily? Uh, you know, I feel like I'm not there yet. And so, you know, every day I really get the chance to, you know, especially in these past couple months, really just sharpen my mind. You know, now I get to go make it uh, physical. So the best is yet to come. So when you, you know, like your persona, just in social circumstances, it does seem very introspective and laid back. Do you have to flip a switch when you're crossing the white line? Do you, is your on-field persona different? No, not really. No? It's kind of the same thing. You know, uh, I guess it's a aggressive defense. You know, I say what I want, react how I want, and from there, you have to react or I can correct you. So, this is becoming life. Have you had a chance to read or see any of the assessments that Cam Jordan has made about what type of player you've become? He hasn't said that. He, he was highly complimentary. I mean, he said that you mentioned how good your stats were for how little you played last year, how effective you were. And, basically like a menace in the offensive backfield. Um, do you see yourself in that light or? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I can say the real thing just for me right now, I just be thinking I want to make every play. You know, there should be no reason why I can't. Yeah, yeah, it's simple. Well, can you speak to the addition of Matt Rea and the impact that he's had so far since he's been here? Oh man, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the whole uh, uh, weight room staff. You know him, Clap, uh, Rob, Burr. You know we got a great staff, and just being able to see them working. You know over these past couple of weeks, getting work in with them, I'm just I'm really excited. You know, especially for how my body can transform still. All right, thank you. Peace. Appreciate it. Same